Hey guys, this is Kevin with Motivational Med. Thanks for coming to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about why you don't need to finish Zonky. And I say Zonky here because Zonky is kind of the most popular pre-made Anki deck right now. It's like 30,000 cards. But this also applies to like Anking and Lightyear and all that too. Um, and I'm making this video because it's December and I've got a lot of questions about like how to best use Zonky and start Zonky late. Um, I want to show you all this comment by Onking, and he's the one who made one of the big, big decks out there. Um, he says, I believe Zonki could realistically be cut down to about two thirds of what it currently is, and that extra time should be spent on Cubanks. There are many cards that aren't needed or are foundational concepts that are only needed initially, and once they are mastered, could be suspended. So the Onking himself, um, believes that you don't actually need to do every single card and if you actually think about it like what does cutting down by two-thirds mean in a previous post I calculated what it takes to finish Zonki and it takes six to eleven hours for per day for 365 days straight imagine if you could cut this down right what would you do with six to eleven hours per day for 120 days, which is like the one thirds reduction that Anking is talking about. That is a ton of time and energy and happiness that you could have, right? Um, and if this guy, the Anking is saying it himself, you don't need all of them. That would be amazing, you know? Um, and I thought about this and I, I looked through one of the Anki decks, right? So I'm here at Zonki, so biochemistry. If you just go through biochemistry, right? Yeah, maybe there's some cards that you're like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that in AP Bio or like Advanced Biochem, whatever. But there's some cards that are just like, like pure, like look at this, like what process takes DNA and makes more DNA? Replication? I mean, like <laughs> we all took the MCAT, right? <laughs> like I, I hate to laugh at this, but like I think we should pretty much know that you know um or what dna what process takes dna makes rna transcription something people don't talk about is like you know if you actually do these cards it's not only not helpful it can be harmful too like when you're coming home after a long day of studying or of going to classes and you're super tired and you have like so many reviews to do and you see this card sometimes you're so tired and I don't know if you've experienced this, but with Anki, but those people who are experienced with Anki, I'm sure have experienced this, where you look at a sentence, right? And you just can't read the sentence. You're just so tired, you know? You're wasting your brain power trying to read a sentence when you all already know what DNA, what process takes DNA and makes more DNA. You know, you just know that fact, right? You're wasting your energy to try to recall that fact when you could be trying to recall a more difficult fact or saving that time and going to QBank. And there's like 660 cards here. If you could kind of go through one by one and just suspend cards that you already know, you know, if you could whittle this number down, theoretically, you could get this down from like 365 to like 240 or maybe even 180, you know, what would you do with that extra time? So um, this principle is not exactly specific to medicine either. It's something called the Pareto principle. And this is kind of nerdy here, but uh, I just wanted to like hammer home this point. In, in the English language, okay, so this post is, it's like blogs about learning English. Um, something I, I pulled up. 300 words make up 65% of the written material in English, right? There's so many words, right? There's probably thousands of words. A very minute number of words, relatively, makes up 65%. Think about what that could mean for like an Anki deck. If you could specifically target your weaknesses and pick cards that are very high yield for boards, you could get a very high yield out of the, a smaller number of cards doing Zonki, done in Zonki or Lightyear or whatever, and you could save more of that time for Cubanks. I think like you know, Anking understands that, you know, ultimately Q banks are what are going to determine our score. 
And um, we decided to dig even deeper into the data here. So, <laughs> so the question is like, do you actually need Anki? Do you need Zonki? Do you need like any of these like crazy pre-made decks that everybody's talking about? And I believe that the answer is no. Um, and you definitely do not need to finish Anki. Um, so we took about 128 different anecdotes of people who posted on Reddit. You can see their usernames here. Reddit, Reddit scorers who scored on average 251. So that's very high. That's like over 90th percentile. Um, and we found that only about 50% of those people use Anki in any way, shape, or form, okay? And a very, so this is posted Anki. Um, so yeah, so about 30% of people used um, Zonki at all, right? But an even higher amount made their own Anki cards. And I can tell you by just like, you know, we, Victor and I, we literally went through every single post and those people who made their own Anki cards, they specifically targeted weak spots from QBank for the most part. So obviously correlation doesn't equal causation, but I think this gives pretty compelling evidence that there are many people out there who are not using Anki at all, scoring 250s. There are many people out there not using Zonki at all, scoring 250s. So if you are, you know, quote unquote, late to the game, to the Anki game, and you're like, oh my God, it's December 16th and I haven't started Anki, or I haven't like gone through X, Y, and Z number of cards. I, I made this video to assure you that it's okay. It's, it's really okay. Um, you don't need to finish those decks. In fact, even the Anki King himself recommends not finishing the decks. Um, and, you know, if you do decide to use Anki, you know, there's also strategy of making cards from incorrects in QBank. Um, QBank is really king. So that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. I really just wanted to make this video because I wanted to quell some of the anxiety out there. Um, you know, Victor and I have both gotten a lot of questions from people about like, oh, how do I set up my Anki deck, this and that. Um, what I want to hammer home is you do not need to use Anki if that's not your learning style. I def definitely do, like if you haven't tried it yet in your first year, I definitely do recommend it. But if your second year, it's already December, I think at this point, it's probably more worth it to focus on what your weak points are rather than trying to finish a whole deck just for the sake of finishing it. Um, it's a lot of time to finish a deck. Anyways, in my in my next post, uh, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about exactly you know how to do less cards and select less cards. Um, it'll be kind of a step by step walkthrough, but this was really more of just uh, you know I just want to share some of these insights that Victor and I have made um, about Zonki and how you don't really need to finish it because um, I thought that would you know have a have a good impact on people's mental health and their understanding of what they need to do to study. Um, anyways, I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please leave a comment below and subscribe and, uh, and a thumbs up. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Good luck.